What's up guys and welcome back. For today I'm going to show you how to make a homemade potato gnocchi. It's very easy and simple and you don't need any fancy equipments to use. So before that I want to give a shout out to Vince Del Santa Teresa, good old friend and of course to his beautiful wife. So stay in this video and you will see what will be my next food that I'm gonna make. If you guys want a shout out, just comment in the section below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye. First get your three rusted potatoes, uh, put them all in a aluminum foil and then generously salt them, cover it and then bake it in a 375 degree Fahrenheit for about an hour and 20 minutes. And when it's done, let it rest for about 5 minutes before peeling your potatoes. Once you're done pulling the potatoes, you need to grab a riser what I have here but if you don't have, you can use a strainer and then start pushing the potatoes through the strainer. What we are doing is we are making our potato into a flour for our gnocchi mixture. So when the potatoes are ready, then add one whole egg and one egg yolk and then give a nice amount of salt. And then give a little mix uh, using the fork before adding a nice uh, grated parmesan cheese. Give them a nice mix until they become a one mass. Transfer it to the surface and then start adding the all purpose flour into the potato dough. I do this 5 times and also knead your dough at least 2 minutes every time you're adding the flour. Once it's done, shape your potato dough into a nice bowl and divide them into quarters. Roll each one of them into a long strips. So when you're done rolling your potato dough and then start cutting them into an inch little pillows. If you are a perfectionist, uh, then grab your gnocchi board but if you don't have, that's fine. Just get your fork just like what I did and then gently pushing while rolling your gnocchi. While waiting for our hot water, then in another pan, let's mix in heavy cream um, alongside with a pesto and a freshly grated parmesan cheese. Uh, so we're gonna season with some salt and pepper and we're gonna reduce it. So 
So our salted boiling waters are ready, then we can start cooking our gnocchi for about 5 minutes. When our gnocchi are almost done, then start heating up another pan with some butter, garlic, and a sprig of thyme. Then when it's ready, then transfer our gnocchi into a nice buttered thyme flavor, and then we're gonna cook it for around 3 minutes. Drop more butter, then give a nice acidity of a lemon juice. Season with some salt and pepper, and then finish it with some nice toasted pine nuts. Get your plate and start beating up your gnocchi, drizzle with pesto, and then we're gonna top with the nice uh, parmesan cheese. Finish it with chives and it's done. So here you go guys, here is my own version of a butter thyme potato gnocchi with a nice um, pesto cream sauce and a toasted pine nuts. I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you in my next video. Keep watching!